Hello everybody, how you doing and how's your day been? My name is StubbersYT and welcome back to the Sims 3 Not So Berry Challenge, part 16 of our Rose Generation. I think that's right, but I could be wrong. I need to learn how to double check before I start filming the video. But hello, Rosalie is actually off work today. Um, since her promotion, she actually now does get more days off. She actually has today off and then tomorrow is Snowflake Day, so she'll have tomorrow off as well. She ages up in three days. That's that's pretty cool. And Amber is on her way to school. Good for her, honestly. Uh, and Rosalie, I don't know what we're going to do with you today. I guess I could have her go. Oh, wait a second. I can call up old buddy, fiance Hanson. Actually, let's go check. Let's go browse some profiles on online dating really quick. Because I kind of want to see if any, if, okay. For starters, if Hanson is on there, we break off the engagement, we're done with him. He's he's over. He's no longer a part of my life. Is that Jody? Oh my god, Jody got old. Okay. Well, I didn't expect that. Um, who's gonna be our next target? Hmm. No, she really does seem to like Hanson though, which is gonna be really upsetting. Maybe after we've dated our ten guys, we'll come back to Hanson. And we'll marry Hanson when we're an elder. It'll be like that true love that never was. Uh, one of my friends actually suggested her marrying Jake in the end. Which I don't like that idea. I understand that he's Amber's dad. And that they were pretty cute together as teenagers. Also, Apple all grown up. Looking adorable. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, Sahan. I can't see most of them yet because they haven't loaded in. Ooh, we should message Heath and Ted and Adan and maybe Samir. Send message. Okay, we're actually just going to send messages to a couple different guys. Just so I have more to work with. <laughs> Hi, I need more to work with. Uh, browse profiles. And I'll have her do it three times total. Because I plan on messaging a couple guys. I plan on messaging at least three. Um, so we just messaged Samir, I think. So we'll do a Dan now. Oh, he seems like a good guy. He's like he seems like a good guy, honestly. I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> if you were to ask me, I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, so I'm actually having um, that the facility is replacing the notes on their internet information page with what you wrote. <gasps> Great. Oh, that's a big school uh, performance boost, isn't it? Yeah, she's now a B student instead of a C. Um, okay, and I think the last one we're going to message is going to be... Maybe Brett. We'll message Brett. He is literally just avant-garde. But you know what? It honestly... It's fine by me. It's fine by me. Um, let's actually call up Hanson. Mm, maybe we should get romantic with somebody else before we do any of that. Maybe I can invite over someone we haven't dated. Actually, really quick, check your messages. Check your messages on there first, and then we'll continue. Because if any guys have messaged me, and I just message them back, I'm just gonna, you know, be like, you wanna go out with me? You wanna go on a little a little shindig, a little thing, little thing? But yeah, I think that's fine. Um, why did you message me, Rosalie? We know each other already. <laughs> Two words, us together, please get back to me with your reply. I like what I'm seeing. Let's be friends. I saw your profile. I think we should be friends. Um, Rosalie, that's an interesting name. You should tell me about it while we make out. Oh my god. Sahan likes what he sees. Want to get to know Sahan. Okay, I don't like the way Sahan talks. Oh, it's Rosalie Berry. It's a pleasure to meet someone who is famous like me. Um, are you famous, dude? Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's call up... Um, let me invite over. I'll invite over Ted. Ted Kurtz. Invite him over. Let's see if I can get... Oh, I broke my computer. Damn it. Damn it. Improve... Impress Von Leray Thigpen. I actually know some Thigpens in real life. It's a pretty uncommon last name. Oh, no. You're at work, dude? That's so unfair. What about Heath? We'll just keep clicking on random guys until one of them comes over. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. 
There we go. So we have Heath coming. And maybe I can get flirty with Heath. I don't really know how it'll go. Um, especially because she is engaged currently. And I do need to break up with old buddy Hanson. Oh, but that's such a pain in my neck to do, honestly. Okay, is he here? He's here already. What? How? How did you get here so quick? You just, you got here so fast. His car is red. He's perfect. He has a red car. And we love the color red. Okay, let's see. What can you do for me, Heath? Lancaster Bellamore. That's a, uh... That's a fun last name. Mmm. It's a, it's a bit strange, though. Like, that is a... That is a strong last name, if you ask me. Okay, let's be friendly with him first. Boast about our good looks. Because that's the kind of thing she does. Ask about his alma mater. Uh, let's see. Ask sign... This is basically all I do off screen in this series. I sit here and I just like mess around and I ask a load of freaking questions and then compliment his appearance and compliment his personality. You got to get them you got to get them buttered up before you just start flirting with them non nonstop. It's been great meeting you. Maybe we should go on a real date sometime. Oh yeah, this dude was on the um on the online dating site too, wasn't he? I literally already forgot who was on there. My bad. <laughs> I, I have a tendency to do that. He went to Brittle Brush Academy. Is that where we went? I don't actually know where we went. Community High School. And she was a valedictorian because Rosalie is just good like that, guys. Rosalie is just a beast like that. Rosalie learned that Heath Lancaster Bellamore is a Taurus. Okay. Brittle Brush Academy. Do you have a partner? Are you single? Are you dating? Um, ask if single. Reference is straight. Aha! So you are a straight man. You are a straight man, which is good for me. Because it means I can swoon you. Oh, you're in a relationship? You have a girlfriend? Yeah, not for long. Not for long. Okay, we're being friendly, but I need us to be more than friendly. Okay, what if we wink at him? I'm hoping this works out for me. He actually doesn't have a bad face. I mean, his face is alright. But we really need that good old flirtatious joke. We need... Blow him a kiss. See if that works out well. Uh, and then... Flirt with him. Are we not going to get past flirty? Because I kind of need us to get past flirty. Romantic red flowers. Oh, he is loving Rosalie. Okay, he wants that berry. That's the berry he wants. But yeah, my uh, video recording and time has actually gone down. Uh, I haven't gone back to school yet. I go back to school Friday, which I'm recording this on a Wednesday. So I go back to school in two days. Um, but it's actually kind of a pain in the neck. Because since I've been on break, I've been able to, like, spin videos out like nothing because I didn't have anything else to do during the day. And now that I'm going back to school, it's like, oh, he won't hug me, though? He won't hug me? Okay, no, ask him to leave. Get the hell away from my house. If you don't want to hug me, go away. What's wrong, Amber? Oh, she's sick. Damn it. Okay, we'll definitely have to go figure all that out. Um, can we go to our boyfriend's house? Where does our boyfriend live? Our fiancé, sorry. Uh, Hanson, Erwin Gilbert. Um, no, where does he live? He lives here? He lives in this house? Wait, this house is really nice. What the hell? What in the actual hell? This place is nice. What? I would have never guessed, but the man has, like, money. I, well, I guess he does have, like, a 50,000 Smolian car. So I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. Hmm. Okay. Let me have you go work on your charisma skill, little miss, ma'am. 
go practice your speech. We really need to get some funding, though. Uh, our funding, I think, is our lowest thing. Yeah. Damn. Okay, well, Amber's coming home. Amber can actually make friends now. Rusty King Tanner. This guy is pretty freaking cute. What the hell? I need to invite him over, like, now give him a makeover because Amber can actually start making friends now. And that guy is pretty freaking cute. I need to invite him over, like, immediately. And give him a makeover. He needs a makeover, but I think he's pretty cute. And I don't actually know the rules with Amber. I don't know, like, when she gets married and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to have to look that up. <laughs> Because it's important to me that my sims, that I follow this challenge to a T. Well, not to a T, because I did have to change Rosalie's aspiration from Master Romancer to Heartbreaker. Um, because Master Romancer in The Sims 3 is, like, broken. That it doesn't work. It hasn't worked for forever. They didn't bother fixing it before they moved on to The Sims 4. They were just like, nah, screw y'all. Okay, so with Gen 3, yellow, Amber's generation, we have growing up, you never had a close relationship with your parent and spent the majority of time in your room obsessing over space. You just really love space. You'll do whatever it takes to get to space no matter the cost. Um, be raised mostly by Gen 1 grandparent. Never have any close friends or relationships other than grandparent from Generation 1 until that grandparent dies. Okay, so it doesn't specifically say anything about... Her relationship but now she can make friends and I find that incredibly amazing so go take a bath really quick actually you know what no you need some hydrotherapy girl go get some hydrotherapy you need it I know it's your mom's and everything but girl you deserve it she deserves it honestly okay Rosalie you're kind of looking like a bad bitch I love you for it but girl if you ain't the most self-centered sim I have ever had in my life, then I don't know who would who it would be. But I definitely need to give this guy a makeover. Rusty? Let's see. Who else does you know? No, Rusty is the best looking one here. I definitely need to get a closer look at him. And I'm going to do that off camera. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should call a repair technician because this is busted. Um, whoopsie. I'll have her do that in a minute. Um, she's almost halfway there, but not quite. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's storming! <laughs> it's storming! Um, I'm not a big fan of storm- And she is just bathing in her everyday outfit. You know what, Amber? If it'll make you feel better, I really don't care. Oh, and Apple's here. Hello, Apple. Apple's lonely. You can sit on that! Oh my god, I didn't even know that. Okay. Well, stop. Stop what you're doing. Okay. And Apple, can you come here, please? Because you're a rather lonely little kitty. Okay. And then Rosalie will give you some attention because she loves her cat more than her, than her own child. Okay. Let's just get this over with. Affection... Feed her a treat. Care. Brush her. Uh, hug her, maybe? I don't know. The cat was lonely. That's all I know. The cat was lonely. I'm fixing the problem. Let's see. Cat, your social's going up. That's good. That's what we need. Rosalie, please don't pee yourself under any circumstances. Because I, I don't know what I would do. Uh, when you get out, Amber... You guess she doesn't technically have to do her homework today because she doesn't have school tomorrow. So maybe we should call and invite over Rusty. I don't really know anything about this sim, just kind of that he's here and he's not bad looking. So I am actually going to just invite him over straight up. Um, what's going on here? Okay, Apple? Okay, there we go. He probably won't come over, though, because we don't know him that well. <gasps> he will come over! Wait, never mind, I'm wrong, I'm stupid. But honestly, anybody that turns down an invite to see Amber Berry, I don't trust them. Because how could you not want to come see Amber? She's adorable. 
She's precious. Okay, how's your social now? Still not that great. Oh my god, Rosalie, continue playing with the cat, damn it. Because damn this cat. Damn this freaking, 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 I said freaking, freaking cat. Bro, I, I, I literally, I love the cat, but at the same time, I hate the cat. I regret getting the cat, but I also really, really like the cat. Are you just taking her all the way in here just to, you know what, I don't even care. Let him inside. Oh, he's inside. Okay. Maybe he's not as cute as I thought he was. Oh, never mind. You know, he's not bad. He's not bad. Especially for a townie. Yeah, no, he's not bad. I just need to fix him a little bit, and then he'll be, like, perfect. Okay, I'll definitely have to get to work on that. Because you already know the struggle I have with making my sims like each other. For some reason, every time I'm interested in a sim, or I'm like, oh, you'd be perfect for yada yada yada, my sims don't want to date them. They're like, no, fuck you, no. Okay, that time I did say a few. Is this man just coming to relax in my freaking bed? Rusty! Rusty! Who do you think you are? I actually may go give him a makeover, like, right now. I'm really interested to give him a makeover. I'm- I'm gonna do it. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did the makeover. Um, he's actually really freaking cute. He almost looks like a sim that I would make, which is a compliment to any sim in the world, because I actually really like him. I think he would be super cute. Um, despite the fact that I could have, I did not look at his traits because I kind of want to figure them out on our own, like with Amber. <laughs> I want Amber to, to really, to really get to know him. Is he about to leave? I don't want him to leave. Rusty! Go gossip with him. He, he got off of Rosalie's, but Rosalie, what are you doing to the poor boy? Stop. Okay, my cat is needing to use the bathroom. I don't know what the heck she's doing, but she needs to use the bathroom. He's actually a very cute sim. Stop! Stop! Rosalie, you can't get in the way every time your child wants to do something. Go away. Move. This is for Amber, not you. I invite him over for Amber. You are literally pointless. Okay, go friendly get to know okay friendly friendly everything ask his sign let's see how much older than us he is because i guarantee you he's older than us uh he could be younger in theory but i highly doubt it um get to know again you know got to throw him in there a couple times um high five him you know just just be as friendly as possible make the boy love us it's it's really all we can hope for truthfully uh you're hungry miss ma'am come downstairs and eat a cake eat a piece of cake amber is going upstairs in order to talk to rusty which a name like rusty i got a dog named rusty i've never met a person named rusty but you know what i guess they exist because here he is or at least a sim named rusty is here okay let's hurry up and get over here and talk to him um, the local science lab is conducting some super secret experiment involving the automatic ghost of Tron. Previous harm would be under if you're interested in a glimpse of the afterlife. Bring the remains of a loved one to the lab for some tests. I don't want to. I I don't want to restore them. I I I'm sorry. I know some of you probably want me to, but I don't. I mean personally, I'm not gonna do it. I may change his hair. I'm I'm not certain on this hair just yet. Also, they barely know each other. But, you know what, if they want to say they know each other, then I guess they know each other. Maybe from school or something? Probably school. I mean, they're both teenagers. It makes sense. Um, play rock, paper, shaka bra. Shaka bra? Uh, oh, my cue's full. Whoops. Oh, that was cute. They're little hearts. I don't care what anyone else says, I think you're hot. <laughs> Well, she is. She's gorgeous. I mean, have you looked at the woman? She's, like, breathtaking. 
it's literally no way around it. She's just perfect in every way, shape, and form. I mean, I love Amber. I'm, I'm probably biased because I, I do love her so much. He's a Virgo. Mm. Play rock, paper, scissors. Virgo. Ask about his age. Sure, let me see how much... I'm two days older than you. Oh my god, they're not that far apart. I was going to be worried that he was like a teen that was about to become a young adult. Like he had like two to three days left. But we're close in age, so I guess it works. Yay! Yay! Okay. Um. No. Oh, he's clumsy. He's a klutz. He's a huge klutz. Oh. Tell a funny story. And show a funny video. You know, honestly, I like this. No! No! We don't have any issues. You just messed up a high five. It was fine. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm going to just leave it off on Rosalie stank face. But I think I'm going to end the part here, guys. As always, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. If you like my content as a whole, be sure to subscribe. I post new videos every single day. And if you have any suggestions for this series or any of my other series, you can leave them in the comments down below because I do check and read through all of them. But I love you all so very much, and I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, guys!